Welcome to Bespoke Diaries, today's article is on, Shirley Temple, Thanks for the Mocktail, by Sarika Singh, Founder and Director, Coach, DamporeGreen.com, Myriad Resources Private Limited, India. Who hasn't been enamored by the lustrous curls and vivacious voice of the cheerful actress, Shirley Temple? Truly she has been the bright star to liven up gloomy depression era black and white films. Alongside this, multiple generations of women have indulged in the glamorous girly, pinkish blush Shirley Temple served in those eye resting glasses, it all bears testimonial to the fact that Mocktail has a long shelf life, just like her movies. Merriam Webster says the word Mocktail was first used in 1916. But then wasn't the actress born in 1928? Such discrepancies do boggle us down but let's go with the spirit. Traditionally, the recipe being ginger ale with a dash of grenadine, cherry and lemon for garnish and your early temple mocktail drink is ready. This legendary drink has laid down the path for a railroad of gorgeous looking colorful mocktails that embellish the shelves of shacks and beach bars worldwide. So, we were just thinking, mocktails are literally mock cocktails, now mock meaning to mimic slash imitate. Of course, you don't have a mocktail to mock someone, which means teasing them or to deceive them. The innocent mocktail is just a cocktail without alcohol. The unabridged premise of a cocktail is that it's alcoholic, removing the alcoholic aspect makes it phony. Henceforth, in reality, there's nothing dishonest or misleading about this super famous drink. Having said that, the ready to drink, RTD, market of this phony cocktail, aka mocktail, as per data bridge market research, is estimated in excess of 9.43 billion US dollars by 2028. Mintel reports that alcohol-free mixed drinks grew 35% as a drink choice at bars and restaurants from 2016 till today. Topper says 17% of 1,288 people between ages 22 to 24 who drink away from home say they are interested in mocktails. The non-alcoholic movement is indeed growing ravenously globally. Bloomberg says mocktails are 100 proof millennial market gold a trend spearheaded by health-conscious millennial. In their words, and we quote, While Omicron stirs up pandemic deja vu with swamped hospitals, cancelled flights and millions of people quarantined, one trend that dominated earlier COVID-19 waves is on the decline, binge boozing, yes, mocktails are having their moment. And while it's hard to take for anything seriously, this latest trend isn't as trivial as it may sound. Sales of non-alcoholic beverages spiked 33%. So, as bartenders who normal sling booze are creating recipes with fun names, like Abstinence on the Beach and No Jito, who all want that Blue Lagoon, Mojito, Fired Ice, Queen's Punch, Screwdriver, Virgin Colada, Virgin Mojito, Virgin Mary, Blue Curacao, Kombucha Mocktail or Rice Espresso or an Italian Cream Soda. Which is your favorite mocktail? Do you have a Shirley Temple drink memory? How many times have you clicked that party selfie with your mocktail and posted on Insta or Facebook or Twitter? Thank you for your time. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Do leave your thoughts in the comments section below. For similar type of article please reach us at contact at thebespokediaries.com or you can visit our website www thebespokediaries.com